Hi there, in this lesson we're going to look at how to calculate the radius given the area of a circle. So, I'm going to show you two ways to do this, the first of which you need to memorise a formula. It's not the way I'm going to eventually do it, but it is a good way of doing it if you're good at memorising things, and it's a slightly quicker way. Okay, so let's look at the normal formula to work out the area of a, a circle, a equals pi r squared, and we're going to try and rearrange it to get r equals at the start. Now, um, to get r equals at the start, the first thing I'm going to do is going to flip the sides. I'm going to put pi r squared on this side and a on the other side. You'll see that here. Just flipped it around. Um, that's absolutely okay to do in maths. Now, because I'm multiplying r squared by pi, to undo that uh, multiplication, I want to divide by pi. So it's a divided by pi. And finally, square root your answer to undo the squaring here to get r on its own. And that's a formula to work out the radius of a circle given the area. Take the area, divide it by pi, and square root your answer. So this is how this would go in a typical question that gave you the area of a circle. In this case, 20 meters squared. I've memorized my formula, r equals square root a over pi. All you need to do is put 20 in for the a. And your pi is 3.14, or use the pi button in your calculator. Do the division first here, so do 20 divided by pi first, that's going to give you 6.4, and then square root your answer and get 2.52. A good way if you're good at memorising formulas. However, there's quite a lot to memorise in maths, and that formula is not given in any formula sheets, so I like to start the same way, um, a equals pi r squared, you're just your normal area formula, and then we're going to put the numbers in and then rearrange it. So, I've been told the area is 15 centimetres squared, and I've got to work out the radius. So I'm going to put the 15 where the A is, not where the R is, because 15 is not the radius, it's the area. So you put the 15 in first. Pi is 3.14, or the pi button, and you've got times by I R squared. Now, to work out what R squared is, think of this in the more simple sense. If you think of 15 equals 3 times something, you all probably know the answer is 5, but what can you do with these two numbers here to get an answer of 5? You can divide them. You can do 15 divided by 3. So it's the same principle over here. To get r squared, you're going to do 15 divided by 3.14. That's going to come to 4.78. Now, I don't want r squared. I just want r on its own. So you need to undo r squared, which is square root. So I need to square root the 4.78, and I get 2.2 centimetres. Okay, let's look at another example. Similar idea, but slightly different. We've got to find the diameter of a circle with area 12. Now, when you look at the formula for the area of a circle, there's no D in it. But we can work out the radius, and we'll do that first and see where that leads us. So this is very similar to the first one. I'm going to put the 12 in, the 3.14 in, and I've got my R squared. Now, remember what happened up here? To get the R squared, we divided these two things, just by thinking about this simple example here. So it's going to be r squared equals 12 divided by 3.14, which is going to give us 3.82. Again, to find out r on its own, square root your answer. Undo r squared by square rooting, and you get 1.95 centimetres. Now that you've got the radius of a circle, if we understand what a radius is, a radius is a line from the centre point to the outside. That would be that. To get all the way across, which will give you the diameter, you just need to double your answer. Okay, so you get the diameter by doubling 1.95, which is 3.9 centimetres. Right, a tricky one to finish. Okay, imagine you were asked to find the circumference of a circle with area 4 centimetres squared. Now I've got two formulas here. I've got area equals pi r squared, and I've got c equals pi d. That's what I need eventually. I need c equals pi d to get the circumference. But I need a way of working out the diameter first, because I can't use that formula without the diameter. So this is where I'm going to use this formula. So I know the area is 4 centimetres squared. I'm going to put my 4 in, my 3.14 times r squared, just as we did before. Work out r squared by dividing these two, and you're going to get 1.27. Square root it as before, 1.13. Now again, I've got my i in this, c equals pi d. Now I need the diameter. We did it in the example before. Double your answer. Now that I've got the diameter, I can put this into my c equals pi d formula, 3.14 times 2.26, and I've got my answer. More complex question requiring you to think quite a wee bit about that. 